Okay, here we go. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, YouTube. We are having a discussion. And discussion was about a story that I heard. And it started off like uh, it was a lady sitting. It was a lady with her uh, mother-in-law. And uh, they, I guess they were sitting around and the baby started crying. <laughs> so the mother-in-law told the... The mother-in-law told her... <clears throat> Mother-in-law told the uh, mother she about to go and um, she about to go check check on the baby. So you know, for a little while the, the, she hadn't seen the mother-in-law, so she asked, so she went to go check on her. She said, I'm here. to go check oh. on her, <laughs> and then then she uh, went to go check on. She seen her mother-in-law breastfeeding the baby. So. I pulled the question, is that weird? Yeah. And what what would you do in that situation? It's extremely weird. I would feel violated as a mother for somebody else to be breastfeeding my child. Because that's like one of those things that is supposed to be between the mama and the baby, one of those bonding things. But I would feel violated as a mother if somebody else is breastfeeding my kid. Okay. And then that's I would feel common. weird that you're doing it and didn't even ask my permission or say nothing. That's weird. Okay, and Jay, what do you think? Honestly, I have to agree <clears throat> with the big homie Ashley <laughs> that that was weird. And on top of all that, yeah, another thing too is you didn't even ask for the permission or nothing like that. So, because you got to remember, you got to respect how somebody will feel about that. And I mean, it just come. That's what make the situation more weird. Okay. Now the thing, I'm gonna pose you this. The the I guess I guess the term that we learned yesterday is a thing called wet nurse, where someone that who's not the mother, who's taking care of someone else's child, will breastfeed the child. Like let's say you're in a family and someone's <clears throat> aunt or you know the grandmother even will breastfeed the baby to help out around you know. Helping, helping out. They say even in slavery time, you know, the the mammy or the slaves used to breastfeed the slave owner's baby, and that is something that people did. And even in like some places in Africa, they do the same thing. So looking at it in that perspective, would that change your view on anything? Yeah, just because they did it way back in Africa, not everything they did way back in Africa, people are still doing today. Yeah. Regardless of whether they did it, if it worked for them, then fine. But now it would be weird and I would feel violated. Still. And then they agreed to it back then. You didn't even go ask the lady, hey, can I breastfeed your baby? But what if she just put it upon herself like, hey, uh, you know, I'm that's helping. That's not one of those things you put upon yourself. That's stepping over the line. You got to have some kind of boundaries. You can't just be having people come in and breastfeed your child and they don't even ask you. That's crazy. So no wet nursing for you? No, absolutely not. So would you, would you let your... Mama breastfeed Never. your baby? In no circumstances? Not at all. If you was out of town and nope. nope. <laughs> there was no money. Uh uh-uh. uh. She needed to feed the baby. Baby was crying. No. You pump your breast milk and you freeze it and you go on about your baby. What if the freezer were broken and the milk went spoiled? You got a whole need... lot of situations going on. Tim said, life and is complicated. Then we put the breast milk in the neighbor's freezer then. Life is complicated that way. Put the breast milk in the neighbor's, but nobody's breastfeeding my child. I'm saying, what if the the, the the freezer broke overnight and it and it got spoiled overnight and it like she's nobody is breastfeeding my child but me. So no wet nursing. No. Jay, not. no wet nursing. <clears throat> I mean, honest with you, I've just been put on to what you mean by wet nurse. Didn't even know. Didn't have a clue. You know, and this is all new to me. But now the way I feel about it is I'm weirded about it, believe it or not. Because <laughs> that's like, that's like seeing, that's like seeing one of my sisters. Exactly. Breastfeeding the one other of the, one's baby. the other one's baby. Exactly. No, no, that's <laughs> like, it's weird. Remember, it's weird to me. Yeah. It's weird to me. And I feel like this. Wait, I'm going to say this. Now that I know about all this mm-hmm. and I know a little bit of more history about it. So now I feel like, okay, you know what? If it's an agreement, if they feel like it's healthy and safe, then go ahead. Yeah. Be- and that's the other thing. You can pass diseases on through breast milk. You got somebody to roll up in your house and breastfeed your baby, and you ain't asked, you know, they didn't ask you, 
can I do this and you don't know what their health history is, they could be passing something on to your child. Yes, but 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 barring all that, the the passing the disease, which I know is not something you can easily overlook, but let's just in a, in a scenario where it's like your family, your mother, father, sisters, brothers, you living in one house, like how many people live today, mm-hmm. like especially with the recession and everything, and the mama gone up to work and the sister, her sister is taking care of the baby, yeah, and she start wet nursing the baby. You think that's weird? Yes. I don't care if it's your family or not. You don't know everything that's going on with your family members' health. But, uh, uh, but again, them, again, you're you're, you you're, you're 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 like you know putting that. I understand that health is something that you just can't overlook. But I'm saying the scenario where what if the person is clean? Just saying. I would feel disrespected as a mother. That's one of those sacred mother baby things. Nobody else is gonna be breastfeeding my but child. But isn't ever. that whole sacred mother thing is overhyped? Because they did no, study. No, it's not overhyped. They did, they did study. That oh. is never gonna be overhyped. They, they, Between a mother and his baby, and her and her baby is never gonna be overhyped. As long as women are carrying human beings in their body, mm-hmm. that is never gonna be overhyped. Two, two, two things to that. Okay, plenty of people who got adopted by a surrogate mother or, or to the, by a mother who's not them, and. They did not know their whole lives that dad was an adopted mama, and they grew up fine. And then another study showed that uh, people who are raised with a nanny get the same amount of love than a person who are raised just by a mother. They they, they they showed no difference. So then, so throwing that information out there, do that whole sacred of mother thing? Is it just? Still it is little- still when you when you are a mother, the act of breastfeeding your child is supposed to be something sacred because it's not just a nutritional thing. Every mother who has ever breastfed okay. their child would tell you it's okay. a bonding thing. Okay, okay, it's another scenario. What if the mama got locked up and she's she, she's she's in jail? Um, there is bottle feeding. But I'm saying though, she needs the nutrients or whatever from the mother's breast milk. If it's a situation like that, they do and, have and, formally. And, and, and mama and, and, and mama's mama's in jail. Sister is taking care of the baby, so she's the adopt. She she's adopting the child, and now she's breastfeeding it. Would you, if you was in jail and your sister adopted your kid? No. Jay, no. it's weird. No. Well, <clears throat> you know me. It's gonna always sound a bit flip floppish, but I feel like this, man. Like I said, now that you told me, had you told me history before all this, mm-hmm. but now my opinion has changed. Let's get to the point. Um, again, like you know, you said he was in jail and sister took over and stuff like that. But again, though, it's like you got to make sure, like what Ashley said, you got to make sure that because you don't know what your family members doing. Yeah, but I'm saying, yeah, but but okay, okay. Now get me wrong. It's just speaking hypothetical. Yeah, so let's hypothetical. Just say I was like, you know, I was locked up, and I was a mother, and my sister took over, and stuff, and everything was fine. It's not the third. Then, believe it or not, my best. Then, believe it or not, my my state of mind would be what's best for my child. Yeah. Now she's being brushed up by my sister. Yeah. As weird as it sounds, but she's been taken care of with school and this. And the and benefits that. of being breastfed. Because the benefits of being breastfed. No, I mean, breastfed. I mean, just in general. Yeah. If pretty much, if it's the right thing for my child. Yeah. Then it's a hundred percent agreement. Yeah. Oh no! Uh, uh, of, of course, of course, I get the whole thing about the lady not agreeing because the mama took it upon herself. The grandmama took it upon herself. Get it? But I'm just saying the. I'm just thinking about the the wet nursing. Is it something now that is that is bad? Is is it just bad now or? Well, because it's you. like it, we, we, we we're weird because because we're not used to it and we never heard of it before. Yeah. But now hearing about it well, is wet nursing was, is bad. But still, in this day and time, not everything that we did back in the day is going to be relevant now or even looked at as something that people would still do now. I wouldn't be doing that. Wet nursing, so no wet nursing. Even after hearing it out, would you be okay with wet nursing? I know people are gonna say the whole you can pass disease and so forth. I, again, I, I understand. Let me say that. It, yeah. This again, I tell you, if it comes out to the scenario like what you said, not that me knowing history about it, yeah, and stuff like that. If it comes out to the best situation for the child, then yeah, because I heard that there's some moms where the 
uh, what a milk go sour or something like that. Mm -hmm. And to let the YouTube nation out there know that happened to our mother mm -hmm. on our baby brother. Mm -hmm. The milk went sour, but you know, I'm saying based on the situation, I, I say it should. I say yes mm -hmm. based on your situation. Like if it's a, you know, if it's some real issues, some real health issues, if it's the best situation for the child, where whoever like you know if it's if it's like your sister or your auntie or somebody mm -hmm. if they clean body wise like, you know if it's in the best health and stuff for this for the child and you want to practice that practice it because the same way i still believe surrogate mothers is weird to me that somebody else pushed the baby out you're like hey i'm your mama so <laughs> yeah so hey hey well, okay but here's okay i'll flip it to y'all again there's people now who sell their breast milk on. That's weird. Who, I already who, know what you're gonna who, say. Who sell their breast milk on website? I don't know, like a, a, a Craigslist or something like that. Because some some parents can't really afford the uh, Similac because it's too expensive, and some women sell their breast milk. I know you're gonna say all oh, the disease thing, but they do go take tests and make sure that their their cells are clean or whatever, and it's clean but milk. But if you can't afford the Similac, then why are you not breastfeeding? What if? But I'm saying though, they cannot themselves. They they, they themselves cannot uh you know produce the milk, but uh you know similar like expensive and plus they actually want the breast milk because they feel like it's more beneficial that than the similar. Weird. Would you be okay one. with buying? That's like buying organs off the internet to me. I can't get down with that. How about you? Again, <laughs> I gotta play it like this. You know, it's going to seem weird to most. Yeah. But at the end of the day, though, for all those people that... I put it to you like this, man. If it's cool and people have no problem with somebody else carrying their baby for nine months mm -hmm. and having their baby for nine months, mm -hmm. which to me is still... It'll still freak me out. Yep. I think people selling breast milk, oh, well, because, like, it's the same way when people sperm donor. Yeah. Because to me, the sperm donor thing, that's kind of weird to me, too. Because I'm like, you could be, you know, like, <laughs> what if Bill Gates is your son, per se? You catch what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't even about the money. You catch what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I don't know. To me, I guess I, I just got to look at it that way. Because I look at it that way. Like, <laughs> if, we, if a lot of other little stuff that don't seem weird to most mm -hmm. seem weird to me, then I guess so. I ain't got no issues with it. But you just mother child bond thing is so strong to Yeah, you. I mean if you wanna do it, get down, but not But is me. it that weird? It's not that strange though. I don't it think is it is for me. It's I don't weird. think I don't think it is. For me it's weird. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we'll leave it at that and just see what everybody else thinks. <clears throat>